Rapper 50 Cent, who has made it his mission to troll the bad boy, declared Diddy is done. With all of the overwhelming force of Homeland Security coming after Sean Puffy Combs by air, sea, and land like a Hollywood action movie, it's easy to see that the end is near for the disgraced founder of Bad Boy Records. But it's funny how our American Air Command had trouble tracking those mysterious air balloons that flew across the country a year or two ago, yet had no problem tracking all of Diddy's flight deviations and forced him to land in Antigua, <laughs> allegedly. Breaking news, U.S. fighter jets scrambled in the skies over the U.S. after reports of a high-altitude balloon flying over the western United States. Tonight, a U.S. official now confirming that NORAD aircraft intercepted the balloon some 40,000 feet over Utah. The balloon described as about 50 feet tall, carrying a small payload about two feet square. The incident, of course, coming a year after that Chinese surveillance balloon was spotted over the U.S. and then shot down off the coast of South Carolina days later. The last bright spot in his business empire, Revolt TV, just slipped out of his hands recently. Oh boy, it's lights out for the diddler of Gotham City. Or is it? Or did 50 Cent buy Revolt TV? <laughs> Who knows? As promised in the previous video, let's briefly look into the business and legal aspects of what just happened. Homeland Security, along with their local police partners in New York, Miami, and Los Angeles, surely must have a solid case against Mr. Combs having dropped the hammer on P. Diddy's mansions and other assets. They arrested his sons as if raiding a major cartel compound, discovering that the Holmby Hills mega mansion in LA is in his daughter's name along with Bad Boy Records and so on. Is his daughter in trouble? Even if she was underage when Diddy put her name on the house? Comment below your opinion. Anyway, some legal experts are saying that when the feds use such overwhelming force with helicopters, boats, militarized tanks, mobile command centers, and lots of troops, you know, police or whatever, usually an indictment is imminent. Again, the idea is when you come with overwhelming force, you have, you have a smaller chance of anybody causing you any trouble. So I guess they just decided to come with overwhelming force. And, and the other point too is when you're asking about, you know, uh, are you more careful? You don't do something like this unless I think there's a good chance that charges are coming because of the publicity. How right. embarrassing is it going to be if they did all this, they spent all this money, it was on every national news everywhere and nothing comes of it. So that's going to be pretty embarrassing. So, you know, you don't want to be embarrassed as the U.S. attorney. As well, Yeah. No. I, I think the next thing that will happen is an indictment of P. Diddy. Um, that, that's what I think, and that he will be taken into custody hopefully soon um, at some point. But honestly, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. This is, like I said, a little yeah. bit unusual um, and that there isn't an indictment yet, although I think one may be forthcoming. I told you that. <laughs> almost got it. Yeah, almost got it. Almost. Almost. I was this close. Hey, hey I, I was going to get some tea. I looked out the blind. Yeah. See them coming. Man, I threw anything I could find. That's why I got on this. <laughs> hey, I, I ran so fast, I ran past my son when they were asleep. I said, I said, somebody got to tell the story. Somebody got to live and tell the story. Don't tell us that we're going to stop. Don't tell us that we're going to stop. They can't catch us up. I thought I told you that we're going to stop. I thought I told you that. Pull up. Man, we're going to beat this. You know what I'm saying? But is a quick indictment always the case? Other legal experts differ. With a complex case such as this one involving multiple jurisdictions, lots of the world's most powerful and influential people who may have the power to end the careers of these law enforcers, the Federal Brain Trust masterminding this operation has to balance operational speed and the element of surprise versus the ability of clever defense attorneys who can poke holes in their case if they get one thing wrong. For fans of those law and order kinds of shows, you already know it's not quite two minutes left in the fourth quarter for Mr. Combs, the slippery one. Here are seven legal angles Diddy's lawyers can pursue to keep the feds in check if their prosecutorial decisions, including the raid, are influenced by personal concerns or biases. Number one, motion to suppress. 
Defense attorneys can file a motion to suppress evidence that they believe was improperly obtained, arguing that constitutional rights were violated during searches or seizures, or that evidence lacks reliability due to issues like a broken chain of custody. And that's an important one, by the way. Number two, expert testimony. They can introduce expert testimony to challenge the scientific or technical foundation of the prosecution's evidence, offering alternative explanations or highlighting errors or inconsistencies. So in other words, the feds have to be careful here about how they rated and gathered um, um, facts and evidence, that kind of thing. Number three, cross-examination. During trial, Defense attorneys use cross-examination to question the credibility and reliability of witnesses presented by the prosecution looking for inconsistencies, contradictions, or biases that could weaken the prosecution's case. Number four, challenging the prosecution's case itself. Defense attorneys assess the prosecution's case for any weaknesses or legal errors and work to create reasonable doubt in the minds of jurors. Number five, negotiations. They engage in negotiations with prosecutors to secure favorable outcomes for their clients like P. Diddy, which may include reduced charges, plea deals, or alternative sentencing options. Number six, judicial review. Defense attorneys can seek a judicial review of prosecutorial decisions if there is a belief that the decision was based on arbitrary or discriminatory factors. And that's an important one. This part, that part right there. Remember against Diageo, did he use discriminatory factors in his filing? Was this overwhelming use of force discriminatory against his three mansions or whatever? The prosecutors might compare how Harvey, you know, Harvey W, and Jeffrey E, you know, the ep dude, were treated to show no discrimination. So how they treated those two guys compared to Diddy may make the difference there. And finally, number seven, public scrutiny. In some cases, bringing public attention to perceived biases or personal motivations in prosecutorial decisions can put pressure on the prosecution to act more objectively. And you know that's coming too, by the way. You know it's coming. A big question is if Diddy has enough money to hire the best lawyers to fight the massive Homeland Security and local prosecutors for an extended period of time. As mentioned in previous videos, I don't think Diddy has the endless money many people think he has. Check out those videos on our channel. Can he escape to Capo Verde or AKA Cape Verde Islands off the coast of Africa? That would be much cheaper, but he should have went to Thailand with his buddy Russell Simmons. Maybe Belize, where the guy formerly known as Shine is the top official, <laughs> but that might not go so well since he left him to rot behind bars for 10 years due to that weapons discretions with, you know, J-Lo and all that kind of stuff and that, that club, whatever. Anyway, we'll see what options he pursues. But given that the feds have to consider all of this in every step they take in the Diddy Riddler case, <laughs> it can go either way if indictments are about to be handed down in hours, days, or even weeks. Right now, popular opinion seems to feel it could happen just in time for Easter coming up. Let's see if Homeland Security lays a golden or rotten egg by then. Like, share, and subscribe to keep this channel growing. And thank you for our loyal subscribers.